Okay, so welcome back. Um, this is the last week before your April break. I wish we weren't having the break, but um, by now I'm hoping that you've sort of figured out the rhythm. Um, how, at least I hope, things are going to keep going. Um, and every week my vision, or really for every, for every week or for every assignment, I will have uh, a video of me explaining uh, the main ideas and I'll break it down into review, okay, what things you've already learned that I think you're reviewing and you need to know, and the new things um, that I intend to cover in that lesson or in that day. And that will be the, um, the start of the rhythm. So there will be videos and then I'll include a document. And that document will say the same thing as the videos. It'll be a summary of the review ideas, the main ideas, and then it will give you exemplars. And those are examples of excellent work, what I expect uh, on the assignment. And the assignment will come in the form of a Google Doc. And, you know, I'll tell you when that's due. And that's where you're going to earn your points. Because I have no way, you don't have a way to demonstrate per participation because we can't um, talk. I guess I could give you some credit if you come to office hours, if you get stuck. But you shouldn't need that if you know what's going on. Um... Okay, so let's talk about this week. This week um, is, you know, that's how it's going to work. This is your introductory video. I'm going to talk about the review ideas, and they're all review today. I think this is going to be an easy week. Um, I'm going to, I'll talk right now about the review ideas, um, and then I will do a couple of demonstrations. And those will be due on Wednesday. This should be Monday. I'm hoping to assign this to you on Monday. And on Wednesday, I'm going to assign a journal entry. And so on Wednesday, you will make your best effort to do a really good journal entry on atoms, charges, and, and the electromagnetic force. And I'll tell you more about that. Then you'll need to pick one demonstration either whichever one you think is easiest to explain or one that you like the best, or you could make up your own. Um, totally open to that. Okay. Uh, if you have any uh, questions, let me know. But um, that is, that's sort of what I wanted to say as introduction today. And now I'm going to um, talk about the review. So the review, what we've learned about atoms is that in every atom there's a little speck in the middle called the nucleus and the protons are in there. Protons have a positive charge so every little speck of a nucleus is positively charged. Around that is a blur of um, ne negativity, right? The electron blur and the reason we could call it the blur of uh, negativity is because every electron has a negative charge. Um, and so what, ho what holds the electrons which change locations very fast, so we infer from that they're moving really fast, so why don't they fly away? It's that um, electromagnetic force of attraction between negative charge and positive charge. And that basically means between electrons and protons, because there's nothing in the universe with a positive charge except protons, or things loaded with protons, and nothing with a negative charge except electrons or something loaded, you know, with, an, um, with a concentration of electrons. All right. Um, within the electron blur, there are energy levels. So every time we find an electron, they tend to be either low energy and near to the nucleus, or if they have more energy, they tend to be progressively further from the nucleus. So least energy, more energy, more energy, more energy. So you can think of them as more energy going faster, and so that lets them be, you know, stay further away from the nucleus. Okay, what else? Uh, some atoms uh, pull harder on electrons than others. We call them the electron bullies, and they tend to either be smaller, so the distance is less, or they tend to have more protons, so the pull is harder, or both. Um, and then there are the electron wimps, and they don't pull on their electrons hard, and it's the same reasons. Um, just the inverse of the same reasons. And what else? Um, 
the the wimpiest of all are the nettles. And I know some kids misheard it as nettles, and sorry, I'm not good at pronouncing things sometimes, I guess. Um, nettles are electron wimps, and they are so wimpy that they hold the electrons so loosely that the electrons can actually flow from atom to atom to atom. Um, and we saw that with the aluminum foil. We brought the negatively charged balloon close and the electrons flowed away. And so, you know, um, usually somebody like, you know, somebody playing with a sharp pencil like Trevor would say something like, well, wait a minute, why do the, the electrons in the aluminum foil move but the electrons in the balloon don't move away? Um, and I, of course, would be stunned, you know, like, ah. Uh, and I'd say, well, what do you think? And somebody like Nora would raise her hand and say, well, you just told us that the electron bullies hold them harder and um, the metals hold them less, you know, um, more loosely. And so, of course, they flow away. And I could pretend like I knew what I was talking about and um, say, excellent answer, uh, which is what we always get from Nora. Okay, and... What else? Um, so the electromagnetic force either is protons and electrons attracting each other or electrons and electrons repelling each other. And the two things that I'm sort of avoiding in this unit are that um, the electron blur, uh, the electrons are not just particles, they're also waves. And we're not going to talk about that. And the other thing we're not going to talk about uh, oh, is that protons repel protons, because um, how do we explain how they're so tightly packed in the nucleus? And, and so just, um, you ought to have heard that there's the strong nuclear force, and that only operates in the nucleus and holds protons close to each other. Okay, so I'll, I've got a couple of demonstrations, and hopefully they'll make sense to you, and this Google Doc will be due on Wednesday, and um, you have a document that summarizes all this. Okay, see you in the demos.